Hello, I'm Jedediah from Common Sense Solutions, and today we're going to talk about worrying. One of the definitions of worry refers to thoughts, images, and emotions of a negative nature in which mental attempts are made to avoid anti anticipated potential threats. In other words, they are not real. Now, doesn't mean danger isn't real, it just means what you're thinking is in a made-up scenario. Uh, and some of the first questions you want to ask yourself are, is there anything I can do about this worry? If no, stop worrying about it. If yes, do something to fix it. Now, the real question is, oh, you found out I can't do anything about it, how do you stop worrying? Well, since worry is a negative thought pattern, you have to change the polarity of your thoughts to positive. So you can think of the old Peter Pan, think of a happy thought. You hold, you know, say, kid at Christmas, seeing the tree, and you just hold that thought for a little while and get yourself into a more positive mood, and that will take the edge off some of the worry. Now, for something more practical, you need to do something to get your mind off of the worry. To get in the better calm point you want to do things that stimulate right brain activity such as meditation, reading, you know do some artwork, go listen to some music, play, do something that will involve your mind so you don't have the time to worry. Another way you can do things is write down all your worries and ask the question can I fix it or no? And then you tear it up, throw it away, because you went through it. It's wrote down, and just keep moving throughout the day. Something else you can do is schedule yourself a time to worry. Go to a, you know, a certain room, whatever, do your little ritual, write it all down, get it out of your system, and leave it in a notebook if you want. And then when you walk away, the worries are there in the notebook, not in your mind. And you want to change your mood. And how you do that is you think of those happy thoughts. You do things that will change the chemical balances in the body. You can change diet, just going out and exercising, you know, taking a walk with a friend, get your mind off of things, do something to be active. The funny thing about our feelings is that, for the most part, it's a choice. You choose how you want to feel. You're sad, you're happy, whatever. It is a conscious attitude choice. Uh, and I personally recommend when you have a really, really good day, try and really hold on to that memory. And then when you're in a bad mood, think back to that day. Set yourself certain trigger memories for whatever mood you want to be in in a particular given situation. I and actors will also use this trick, which is why you see some of those sad cases like the guy who played the Joker, couldn't pull himself out of the part, and ended up committing suicides. So being in a positive attitude really does make a big difference. It causes changes in your brain chemistry with the neuroplasticity you know the brain will actually reshape itself just like when you play an instrument you will learn new things personally one of my favorite is the meditation that i mentioned earlier there's a few different options for this the simple easiest way is to get a pair of headphones and listen to some binaural beats that will actually bring your brain frequency down to the level that would normally take years of meditative practice to get there. And then you can incorporate your meditation while you're doing it. Uh, one of the preliminary meditations I was taught as a child by my dad was imagine a giant blackboard when you close your eyes and let your thoughts pop up as words and images on that blackboard. Then after a little while, it's like the board just fills up with all the thoughts going everywhere. You grab a magic eraser and just start erasing the board. At first, you'll notice some of the thoughts come back. Just keep erasing and erasing, and pretty soon the mind will clear, and you'll be just the chalkboard there, then you just let it fade to black. That gets you in a neutral state where your mind is not actively processing anything. You can use that for lots of things to change it. 
you know, plan what you want to go into the meditation with. So, say you want just to focus on being the word happy or love or whatever works for you. Clear your head and then just focus on the word. And you will actually start vibrating with that frequency. Some people like to auditorily use, you know, the words like OM to change the vibrational frequencies. It all works really well. Hope this is helping. If you have any questions, please comment on them. I'll answer as many as I can. And hope this helped out. Have a wonderful day. Again, check out commonsensesolutions.org for lots of free content to get your life the way you want to live it.